Hey everybody, Coach Tasha here. Core strength. I'm gonna show you four exercises today that can help uh, tighten up your core. Having a strong core helps with your posture. It helps your pelvis and your legs and your lower back work better together. So I'm gonna show you some exercises. It's so important. But we need to make sure that we're working on our core strength about twice a week. Now, I'm gonna give you some at-home core exercises that you can do, all you need is a mat, or you can go outside and do them on the grass, on a towel. Very simple, and I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do these four different exercises. It won't take you more than five minutes, so here we go. So we're gonna go nice, lie down on your back, we're starting here, you want to remember for the majority of these exercises, you want to keep your back, the small of your back, flat to the floor. Okay, so it's if it's lifting up, you want to remember, tuck it in here and feel that core engagement right here. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to bring our legs up like this. Very simple at 90 degrees. We're going to touch our toes. So we're trying to keep our legs stable here. Just little movements here. And now if you find this one's too difficult, put your feet down. This is more of a beginner move. And you're just gonna slide your legs, your hands to the top of your knee. Just a very, see this very small, only a few inches. Now with these ones, we aim for 20 each. Now you can, you can also start with doing 10 of each. So this is the beginner one, just a small movement here, back flat, breathing, exhaling as you come up. Always one thing you remember when you're doing core, you're exhaling every time you're pushing up. So reaching for your heels, your shoulders don't come back, you don't, I don't wanna see any of this. Very short motions. Trying to keep your shoulders away from your ears. So that's number one. Number two, your legs are here again. You're going to put your hands behind your head, making a basket. Now you're going to use your core to bring you up. So we're going to exhale. So your core is nice and engaged here. You're going to, this is, this is tough. You should be feeling this. And you're just going to drop one leg at a time, remembering to keep this engagement in your core. Keep your head dead weighted in here, nice and slow. And we're gonna do 10 heel touches. So do 10 on each leg. Remembering to keep this engaged. You don't wanna be yanking your head like this. Your head's relaxed in here and you're using your core to keep you up. Shoulders away from your ears, nice and engaged. Very gentle touches here. Breathing, okay? And 20 of those. 10 on each side, now your legs are gonna go straight up here. Feet are flexed and you're gonna reach for your toes. So I don't wanna see like this. You're always keeping your shoulders away from your ears and you're using your core. See how that exhale your it. Use your breath. It's not a huge motion, so I don't wanna see this. Everything we're doing is controlled. Trying to keep your legs still, reaching for your laces. We're gonna do 20 of those. Then you're gonna put your hands underneath your booty, not all the way up, but just this underneath your booty. Legs are back up here. Remember, don't lift your shoulders up, arms down, palms flat, palms flat to the ground. You can feel your arms are a bit engaged here under your bum. Nice straight legs. Now we can point the toes, and so we're gonna go down. And up nice and slow. We're going to aim for 10. If you can do 20, that's great. If you're finding that your back is coming off the ground when you're going all the way down, you don't have to go that far. So you could just go to here, right? This is, you could always go a little bit easier if, it's, if you're finding it too hard to go all the way down. And we're going to do 20. So you're going to do those four exercises and you're going to start off with just one round, and if you can only do 10 of each, that's great. And you can advance to doing 20 of each, and then you can advance to doing two sets, or three sets, or four sets. I do four sets, but that's, that's the advanced version that you guys are gonna get to eventually, but you've gotta be consistent, 
and you've got to keep working at it. Good luck.